Patrick Rover, helping represent NASA in the 56th Presidential Inaugural Parade, was assembled by Johnson Space Center personnel following its arrival in Washington from Houston. The pressurized rover is a concept vehicle being developed for possible use by astronauts upon their return to the moon by 2020. The vehicle will be joined in the parade by NASA astronauts who recently returned from a trip to the International Space Station. The STS-126 crew, commanded by Chris Ferguson, Expedition 1718 flight engineer Greg Shamatov, and a delegation of NASA employees will march with our armed forces and representatives from across the country. This is a tremendous honor, actually. You know, this is a first for us, this, this whole team. So we're, we're incredibly excited to be here. Um, the fact that uh, we, we get to participate in, in just, in my opinion, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity is just beyond imagination. So we, we are all excited. As, as one of our engineers always says, we're pumped. This 12-wheeled rover is about the size of a pickup truck. It can comfortably house two astronauts for up to 14 days, requires little or no maintenance, and can climb over rocks and up 40 degree slopes on the harsh surface of the moon. The mostly transparent cockpit provides both wide and close-up views for astronauts as they work comfortably in shirt sleeves. Should they want to collect lunar samples, they can quickly enter and exit their spacesuits through suit ports. The cabin is removable, allowing the chassis to carry payloads or be driven by astronauts in spacesuits. We're looking at electric vehicles and I think the uh, work we're doing here is going to transfer back to industry and benefit all Americans. Two members of the 126 crew visited the Stennis Space Center to report on their mission to the International Space Station. Commander Chris Ferguson and Mission Specialist Heidi Marie Stephanie Piper.